Measurements of wavelength of light based on an interferometer do not confirm the hypothesis that the speed of light is always the same. A large part of physics is based on the speed of light from a moving light source. Consequently, the speed of light from a moving light source should be unambiguously measured. The sun is rotating. Its peripheral speed is 2 km per second. In one case, the light source is moving to us, and in the other case, it is moving away from us. In the presented measurement, we measure the wavelength of light from one and the other edge of the sun. The wavelength is measured in two ways, firstly with a diffraction grating and secondly with an optical prism. When we measure the wavelength of light with a diffraction grating, we measure a different wavelength in the light coming from one edge of the sun than when it comes from the other edge of the sun. The difference is due to the different speeds of the light source. The measurement is described in the article, Solar Interior Rotation and Its Variation. When measuring the wavelength of light with an optical prism, it is different. We measure the same wavelengths in the light from both edges of the sun. In this case, the speed of the light source does not affect the measured wavelength of light. The same wavelength of light from one and the other edge of the sun is also measured when the light is measured with an interferometer. The measurement is described in the article, The Shape of Spectral Lines. This surprises us. The results of measuring the wavelength of light with an optical prism are different from the results of measuring with a diffraction grating. Why? The speed of the light source does not affect the wavelength of the light. It only affects the frequency of light. The wavelength of light changes on the diffraction grating, while the frequency of light does not change. As a result, the speed of light changes on the diffraction grating. Light from a moving light source arrives at a speed that is not equal to the constant c. After the passage of light through the diffraction grating, the speed of light is restored, as determined by the constant c. A change in the wavelength of light on a diffraction grating is due to the change in the speed of light. After the passage of light through the diffraction grating, its speed is equal to the constant c regardless of the speed of the light source. In addition, we can measure the wavelength of light after the diffraction grating. At the exit of the light from the diffraction grating, the wavelength of the light is known, as well as its speed. Based on this, we can calculate the light frequency. The known frequency of light and the measured wavelength of light, with which it arrives from a moving light source, enables the calculation of the speed of light from a moving light source. Let's repeat. The frequency of incoming light from the sun is? The wavelength of incoming light from the sun is? The speed of incoming light from the sun is? The measured speed of light coming from a moving light source is C plus V. In the equation, the constant C describes the speed of light from a stationary light source, and V the speed of movement of the light source. The measurement is unambiguous. It can be carried out at any time in many astronomy laboratories.